Hey, Joe. Hey. Listen, um, I need to ask you a favor, and we can't tell Monica anything about it. I thought you didn't have secrets from Monica. And that will remain the official party line. <laughs> Look, Monica and I are having a little financial trouble. Yeah, I know. What? What do you mean you know? Uh, I just figured it out, you know. I mean, you're not working, and uh, the economy is bad. Oh, right. That is the fastest I have ever thought. Anyway, uh, I need to borrow some money. Oh, sure, yeah. How much? $2,000? Yes, $2,000 exactly. How did you know that? Uh, well, I, uh, I know how much you used to make, and I know how much your rent is. Oh, okay. I am on fire. <laughs> Listen, this is really nice. Did, did you write a check to Monica for $2,000? Did Monica borrow money from you? Uh, kind of. I can't believe her. Did she tell you we were having money problems? Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't because of your money problems. It was for something for her. Yeah. What? Something personal, yeah. What would she get for herself for $2,000 that she wouldn't tell me about? Excuse me. <laughs> boob job. I don't want her to get a boob job. That's crazy. Well, it's, it's not that crazy, okay? Making him smaller, that would be crazy. My phone number and he's going to call me this weekend to see if he can get me an interview. Whoa. I know. <laughs> what, so this guy is helping you for no apparent reason? <laughs> and he's, uh, he's a total stranger? Yeah, his name is um, Mark something. Huh, sounds like Mark something wants to have some sex. <laughs> what? Oh, I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, why else would he just... You know, swoop in out of nowhere for no reason. To be nice? <laughs> hey, Joey, uh, are men ever nice to strange women for no reason? No, only for sex. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. And for the last time, we do not want to be friends with you. <laughs> and we don't want to buy your bat. What are you doing here? Bert. Burr, burr, burr. Are you friends with him? I can explain. Joey? Uh, okay, um... Uh... Oh, yeah. You have got some nerve coming back here. I can't believe you never called me. Excuse me? Oh, uh, yeah. Probably don't even remember my name. It's Joey by the way. And don't bother telling me yours, because I totally remember it, lady. <laughs> yeah, I waited weeks for you to call me. I gave you my number. You never called me. No, no, don't try to turn this around on me, okay? I am not some kind of social work, okay, that you could just do. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I gave you my number. Really? Think about it. Come on. You're a beautiful woman, smart, funny, had a really good time, huh? <laughs> if I had your number, why wouldn't I call you? I don't know. <laughs> well, maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. No, no, hey, well, no, too late for apologies, okay? <laughs> you broke my heart. You know how many women I had to sleep with to get over you? <laughs> I waited a long time, I can't wait anymore. <laughs> Hi, Joey. It's Jan Rogers. Can't wait for your party tonight. Listen, I forgot your address. Can you give me a call? Thanks. Bye. Hey. Hey. What's up? Yeah. It's a real shame you can't make it to that one-woman show tonight. Oh, I'd love to, but I gotta get up so early the next day. You know, you know me. Work comes first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Hi, Joey. It's Jan Rogers. Can't wait for your party tonight. <laughs> Stupid Jan Rogers! You are having a party tonight? 
kind of having a, a thing for the days of our lives, people. And you weren't going to tell us? How did you think you were going to get away with that? I do it every year. <laughs> you do that every year? That's why you got us tickets to that play, to get rid of us. Yeah. Uh, and last year, is that why you sent us to that Medieval Times restaurant? Yeah. <gasps> and the year before that, when you set up that nighttime tour of that button factory? I can't believe you guys went for that one. I <laughs> Joey, I w what is he doing? Look, Emily thinks Ross's furniture's got Rachel cooties? Calm down, Joey. No, everything's getting all messed up, you know? Emily won't let Ross see Rachel. We're not going to stop seeing Rachel. Hence, Ross, stop seeing us. Oh, I hate this. Everything's changing. Yeah, I know. We're losing Ross. Joey said hence. <laughs> oh, so pretty. This must have cost him a fortune. I can't believe he did this. Oh, come on, Ross. Remember back in college when he fell in love with Carol and bought her that ridiculously expensive crystal duck? What did you just say? <laughs> Please help me. I have a date tonight. It has to go well, okay? I'm scared for my health. Okay, okay. okay. Um, oh, 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 I got something. Okay, it's this story that I came up with. Very romantic. I swear, any woman that hears it, they're like putty. Really? Well, then tell it to me. Uh, I'm sorry, please, please. You, you were in Western Europe, and... I was just outside of Barcelona, hiking in the foothills of Mount Tibidabo. I was at the end of this path, and I came to a clearing, and there was a lake, very secluded, and there were tall trees all around. It was dead silent, gorgeous. And across the lake, I saw a beautiful woman bathing herself, but she was crying. Why? <laughs> 